time to bring up your physical body, your physical strength, your physical fitness, and your physique. The reason why this is number two before everything else we're gonna talk about, girls and money and stuff, because you can do this for free. You Sometimes you don't need to spend any money, but let's say a gym membership is $30 a month, $40 a month, and that's one of the greatest investments you'll ever make in your life. You can do this as a young man who's got nothing else going for him if you just get consistent into the gym, doing some kind of resistance training that will build muscle, your life will change significantly. You can be a guy who wants to go for a career or a guy who wants to keep studying for another 10 years or a guy who wants to build a business or even a guy who doesn't even mind being broke. Any personality, any kind of career field, anything like this, either way, building some more muscle and being at a low body fat percentage is going to do wonders for your life, your confidence, the respect that you get from men, the attraction that you get from women, building an aesthetic body, which is one that has a fairly good amount of muscle mass, but then it's also lean enough that you have this like V taper in your upper body is scientifically proven to be one of the most important things when it comes to actually looking good and to attract women. Your body, your fitness, and your physique may be the second greatest asset that you'll ever have in your entire life, second only to your strong mind. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you're probably around this stage where you've started to, you know, do some of the mental health practices. You've been maybe meditating and journaling and you've been going to the gym. So you've already seen like such a good progress in your life. Every time I see one of the boys and they're like, whoa, you Hamza, you know, we start speaking about self-improvement. And I always ask the same question. I say, okay, what is the biggest win that you've had so far since you've been watching the videos? And it's always, always, always about fitness. That's like the thing that just makes young men so proud of themselves. Because if we think about the opposite side of this, having a weak, flabby, skinny, fat physique, as much as all these, you know, the soft people of the world who, who think that we're evil, misogynist type of guys, as much as they all say fat positivity, bro, there's nothing positive about being fat. When I was skinny fat, I felt horrible. Every young man that I speak to who tells me, look, here's a progress picture, I lost 20 kilograms. They always say that they felt horrible listening to the conventional advice that you should love yourself at every size. Nope. If you're a masculine man, no. This may be one of the first times you've heard this. If you're a masculine man, you're not supposed to love yourself if you've been lazy. You're actually supposed to feel incredibly negative about it. This modern world, this weak modern world, all of the weak people around you, they want you to smile as you eat another donut and say, yeah, well, I love myself at every size. But they don't understand that you simply can't. That those times when you've looked in the mirror and you're disappointed by what you look like because you know you haven't been disciplined enough. You can't just delude yourself into positive thinking and think, yeah, well, actually, I'm really sexy and you remember fat positivity and you've got to love yourself every uh, self-care day. <laughs> no. If you're trying to become more and more masculine, understand this. You will only feel happy about yourself. You will only feel loving towards yourself if you know that you've been putting in that work. Your amount of self-love is totally equal to the amount of good work that you've put onto yourself. Never slack, especially, especially with your physique because that is a physical indicator. The thing is you cannot check your grades, you know, in school. You could maybe not go check your business and you know, oh, it's the weekend, so you're not in your workplace, fine. But your physique is always visible. Every single time you go to the bathroom, you are hit with this level of accountability. Like, remember all those choices that you made in the last six to 12 months with your diet, your training? Well, here you are. No excuses, no, no other circumstances. The choices that you made in the last six to 12 months, maybe a little bit longer, here you are. So if you don't see a strong, chiseled looking man in the mirror, you messed up somewhere. And if this hurts your feelings, good. It's about time someone did hurt your feelings in this very soft, politically correct world. You wanna know how I got here? How I got consistent? How I surprisingly got consistent in building my physique? Because I, I was genuinely a really lazy kid. It was when my friends body shamed me. It was when one day we're in the locker rooms and they come up to me as if they've all had like a talk between themselves. Hamza, we've decided that you're the most fat one out of all of us. Now that's embarrassing. Imagine your friends come over. We've decided that you're the most fat one out of all of us. I wasn't a really nice person at this time. So I pointed to the other fat kid. I was like, no, he's, he's fat. And I mean, look at him. Like, you know, I'm just like being defensive and stuff. And I swear, still objectively, bro, the other kid was fat, but it hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings. Of course it did. But what do you think I did when I got home? You think I was still going to go for that packet of crisps or the chocolate bar when I got home after I've just been body shamed by my friends? No, bro, I want you to body shame me. If you see a picture of me out of shape, you know, like let's say updated, you know, let's say I've been slacking for some reason, right? If you see a picture of me and I've gained body fat percentage and I don't even look like I'm very muscular, bro, please, please body shame me. I would be so grateful if you did that to me because at least for me it's been so entirely valuable and life-changing because sometimes you need that harsh slap of reality the second and incredibly important part of becoming a high value man is your aesthetic body is building a body like those greek god you know those marble sculptures which just look so chiseled literally just look at those pictures of those like you know they've got like those greek god mythology and everything and they literally look like so lean so chiseled aesthetic vitae but i want you to imagine if you genuinely had a physique like that that you literally woke up and your skin 
skin was tight against your muscles, that you were genuinely around 10 to 12% body fat. You know, sometimes you see, you know, if you're a younger guy and you've been on like TikTok or something, you see like that TikTok boy guy who he's not like incredibly muscular. He's not like some big bodybuilder, but he's got a pretty good level of muscle mass and he's really lean enough that that looks incredibly, incredibly attractive. And straight away, no matter what you think about, you know, TikTok boys or anything, the thing is you can't help but to respect a guy who actually looks like he's like chiseled. Decent amount of muscle mass and then lean. Building your physique is something that you should start as soon as possible and something that you should imagine that you're still going to be doing 50 years from now. It's a lifelong journey.